lesson 13. But here are some examples of curtain walls, and we're going to have a quick look at this one first. It's a plug-in, and it does what you would expect it to do, seen here. So the curtain wall tool should live in your wall tools palette. Edit curtain wall tool. Um, you can see there are some insertions, uh, a window, and this one is a window. It's in window main, and it's styled window curtain wall capped and this one is a door, it's in door main and it's styled door curtain wall shop front. You can double click on the curtain wall to open the curtain wall tools or you can use the curtain wall tool in the palette. Before we do that we're just going to look at it in top plan view. You'll see this has a cap on the glazing, it's a pressure plate cap um, and there are two lines here a vertical frame extends to this back line here and you'll see the visible thickness overall is 75 um, this line is the horizontal frame there it is your top frame is full depth and the bottom frame is full depth as well so this is the glazing here, 10 millimetre thick, with an 18 millimetre pressure plate cap. The wall itself is in clad glass curtain wall, so what is rendered in solid or fill are the vertical frame members, and you're seeing the uh, horizontal and the bottom one in kind of top-down elevation. So double-clicking opens this set of tools along the toolbar, edit curtain wall tool, Select frame mode, that's this option here, select frame, select panel, add frame, split frame, combine frames, move grid. Uh, you can see that it's styled, curtain wall VWX tutorial capped. Um, and we've actually put those styles into the walls folder. It is just a wall and it behaves like a wall. So uh, perhaps first what we should do is look at the style. Um, notice that it doesn't give you the components options here now. Uh, this is the basic grid, the, the grid preview. Um, here we've got 632 and 932. It's because my mullions, my frame is 32 wide. It would, for the sake of argument, uh, we're 900 by 600, and that's the grid. You can add elements to the to the grid, and so you might have a, a kind of contrapuntal. Um, grid arrangement with a, 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 a wide and a thin or a tall and a short in that in those parameter options. Insertion options it's going into the class that uh, we wanted. Our textures uh, those, are, those are governed by the panel and frame elements. And in fact this gives you the, the shortcut into the kind of default frame setting so we'll have a look at these. So First of all, vertical frames are what we looked at in plan. It's capped full depth. There are the other options we'll come on to shortly. Um, so the width is 32, as I was saying. We'll be using the wall thickness. Three is the rebate for the glazing. Four is the cap depth. And the offset reference is the center line. You can change that in the grid settings. Um, and that simply will adjust um, position of the glazing rebate. You can see frame and cap are by the object class. Note that we have selected a texture and selected a, uh, a fill. We've seen the fill in 2D top plan view. There's a glitch. If you make all attributes client by class, it doesn't always work. Maybe in Service Pack 3 that will have been fixed. I've made a texture for curtain wall frames. Horizontal frames are what you saw in, in top view. Um, yes, we've changed it from the default object class to a solid so that you don't see the fill in top view. And the rest is the same, horizontal, but the depth has changed to 63 and the offset is 6. So that the front face of the horizontal frame is flush with the vertical. Start frames are exactly as you might think. 
they have the vertical starting and ending frame and they're the same full depth the rest is the same end boundary is identical top boundary is identical to the horizontal bar so that it doesn't appear as a fill is except that it's using the full depth as I've shown you and ditto with your bottom boundary the panel setting is glass it's 10 mil thick and to achieve the offset from the center line I mean you can change this so the offset can be from the front or rear face um, it's 14.5 so that the cap is 18 millimeter thick so it's a wall I mean you can just draw a wall um, and and change it to a curtain wall uh, just draw a wall doesn't matter what it is and then change it to the style you want replace to curtain wall capped you can replace the heights because the grid will come in update frames and panels or delete and recreate frames and panels in this case we'll do that so we get a whole new wall uh, that is a curtain wall wall uh, and it says that in the type it's a curtain wall there it is if you want to make a round wall um, as we've got here uh, you can draw uh, any wall round and replace it with a curtain wall it won't make a a, a a curved curtain wall unless this is switched on in your wall style segment round wall essentially it's a planar um, objects plug in um, like it behaves like a wall and of course what it won't do is make some marvelous curvy nerby and subdivision type curved surface and if you want to get into that um, Vectorworks video, particularly good, Nehemiah, the Brazilian architect, his church, there's a fantastic video to watch if you wish. Um, but so, so there is limitations, but it, you know, it's design intended, basically. Uh, we, we drop this around our building envelope um, as curtain balling and, you know, as an ubiquitous um, method of cladding modern buildings, and particularly corporate buildings essentially because glass is cheaper and all the rest of it so you know the implications for air conditioning um, so we've seen the pressure plate cap window um, and then butt glazing the butt glaze style gives you this effect um, there's very limited uh, pressure plate caps styles um, so again it really is a design intent tool um, but this will give you a slightly different you know imagine the the gasket that goes in there to get the appearance of frameless um, and this is butted we can quickly look at that style um, and the frame settings and you'll see now it's butted um, and the overall depth is a little bit less than the, the, the pressure plate cap so horizontal frames again just to give a bit of articulation are reduced we'll look at the windows um, okay you can see I've made a louver one there and we'll double click it We'll use the select panel tool, we'll select this panel and insert a door or insert a window. And in this case, we'll, um, we'll insert a window. It'll give it a, a default uh, properties because it's actually in the wrong class. So let's put it into the window class. We're going to select that window now and change it. See, it's unstyled, so let's replace it with a style that we know. Um, it's in the butt glazed wall, there it is, or it is one of these hoppers. But I really want the glass to be 8mm uh, outside the frame, won't do it. Um, but it is aligned with the rest of the glass in the wall. The plug-in doesn't allow you to extend that, to extend that glass. Double click, select panel, and then insert a door. Okay, there it is, door in wall, unstyled, we'll replace that with um, the shop front type door and this is what you see oops it's all squeezed into one panel um, and that's why you need uh, this frame split tool which will now split the vertical frame then you select that vertical frame and simply delete it it's already, it's already kind of nose so that's the delete and split frame tool to make your wind, to make your door fit fairly intuitive select the panel um, let's have a look at the edit panel what have we got now it's a spandrel so it's a spandrel um, it's, it's just it's the front face is in line with the glass the back face is in line with the depth full depth of the frame 
you'll figure out these um, uh, infill depths. So the infill depth turns out to be 30, 35 with a 14 and a half mil off offset. Spandrel with face, it will give a face if you want a different facing material. We can see the, the front recess is the same as glazing and the back is flush with the horizontal frame and this one simply is just a different type of glazing because that one is a bit of edit panel. That one happened to be in glazing opaque which is a solid um, which is a class with a solid fill and this one is glazing frosty um, and that's just glazing. I've just changed the glass from clear to frosted or translucent. There we are, Gla glass frosted white. So um, lots of variations to be to be had just to with the clip cube on look at the, the, the section. I'll just show you this window style to get that to work. It's called an awning top on curtain wall window so you click that it is a curtain wall window because it'll adjust the size it'll fill it'll fill what size hole you've got in your frame uh, the sash width is zero that's the trick and then you can put that into an invisible class guides or whatever non-plot um, ditto with your 3d interior and exterior sash it makes the sash disappear and all you've got is the glazing um, and the jam isn't controllable because it's a curtain wall window and there was needed to be a glass offset to get that glass to come right to the front. So you can just see it popping out there like that. We're seeing the jam because I've got glass guides on. So let's come out of guides and there that'll disappear. So it's just um, a bit of uh, a bit of top hung frameless glass. Just to look at the uh, possibilities, facade engineering and all the rest of it. These really reveal that. Uh, Vex, but the plugin is pretty basic. It's a breeze layer. Oh, can we get that? It's a, it's a kind of clip on bit of kit. You know, there's the problem with the air conditioned corporate curtain wall glazed building. It overheats, there's too much, there's, there's too much glass, there's no privacy, uh, and this is the way forward. Use uh, photovoltaic cells in the glazing, and then not only does that shade the interior and keep it cooler, um, gives you free electricity. There's no privacy in this room, man. You can't hang on anything on the wall, can you? I, I, I still don't understand the, the vogue for transparency. I, I think it's a rather tendentious platitude. This is a channel pressure plate cap. Here's a spandrel panel. Here's a kind of curvy, nerby type of thing. You know, you're not going to do that with Vectorworks tool. You're going to do that with extrude long parts, having set up your nerves curve and your nerves surface. Here is butt glazing with a neoprene insert. It could be a silicon sealant or recessed. Extraordinary example with concave or what they call fluted glazing. I mean, here is the apotheosis of modern corporate building. I mean, look, it's it's, it's shelving with a kind of ambiguous, invisible envelope, a very composed, it's corporate porn. But it's beautiful. It's like a bit of uh, automobile technology. I'm really not convinced that it's architecture at all. And, you know, if you want to get into some gymnastics, try to make the facade interesting because the interior of the building isn't. Finally, an essential guide, especially if you're on site, is the Bath University Centre for Windows and Cladding Technology originally set up because the MBS didn't have uh, a specification clause H for the curtain wall because um, the technology was new and was too fast developing um, the different types, the stick, uh, the panelised um, various things depending on cost and size and scale. Very helpful on-site guide, beware of uh, things that aren't straight, gaskets that don't fit correctly and all the rest of it, but there's, I digress. Mm -hmm.